Mr. Omani, it's only right. Yeah, you don't be messing up my Cypher name. Cypher like omnipotent. That. Don't, be doing that. don't be doing that. It's only Cypher right. Cypher omnipotent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we here now. We here. <laughs> What's in your iPad podcast, season four? Mm-hmm. Season four. What's going on, family? We're here with Chief <coughs> Producer, Miss Lid. I'm Saifo Mani. What's, good? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> shout we out missed to, you. Yeah, shout out to Dragonfly Bri. Facts. You know, yeah, Jesus man. Jesus. Yeah, I miss you guys too, man. Yeah, just be busy, <laughs> busy, grinding, grinding, grinding. Hey, feel you. Man, grinding, man. That's how it be. Yep. You know That's we know. Yep. Grinding the life. <laughs> you know we know. Mm-hmm. What's good though? What's good in the music world? What you been listening to lately? <laughs> oh, you want to get? Oh, you want to get right to it, huh? You want to get right to it? Listen. Only because you know I, I know it's coming. Listeners of the podcast, if you've been with us, especially last season, we, me and Miss Led had a little bit of a debate <laughs> on Nas's latest projects in 2022. Oh, shit. So, mm-hmm. now that we're coming to the tail end of 2023, Nas has really, what, two albums? Magic 2 and Magic 3 this year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you think I, about, what, what, I'm, I'm putting you on the spot. What did you think about Magic 2? I'm sort of lost with Magic 2. I don't think I even really rocked out to that, honestly. You sure that came out this year? That's bad. (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm telling you, it's been that bad. But I I could talk about the last one, Magic 3. The the very last one that just dropped. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That's more my caliber of Nas. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't know if it was the production. You think so? I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I don't. I liked it better than the one we were arguing about. King's Disease. Which one? <laughs> I think that was the first one we was talking about. King's Disease. I think it was. Mm-hmm. I liked it better than than that one. And I don't know if it was production. I don't know if it was the beats. But I enjoyed the. I don't know. Right down from the start, I was enjoying. About time you, you came back around. About time. <laughs> so you wait. You think King's Disease was better than this one? This Magic Three? Uh, off rip, yeah. Really? I do think it's better, but I do like Magic Two better than Magic Three. Oh, see, I need to go listen because I must be missing out on, on some goods. I need to go listen to Magic Two. What you I think? probably heard it. Five hours. What? I'm about to put five hours. I ain't, I ain't, man, listen, I ain't listen to that. <laughs> you ain't listen to any of them, Jeez? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I haven't listened to no, no nothing. I've been listening, I, I, I've been listening to John Coltrane. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no. <laughs> Trying to keep my ass calm. Man, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, to be honest with you, I haven't really listened to a whole lot of rap this year, neither, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? But I've been more, mm-hmm. I've been more into, like, your, your chill hop and, some trip, mm-hmm. some old school trip hop, you know, just kind of stay mm-hmm. mellowed out myself, man. So I ain't acting like, you know, Michael Douglas and falling down or something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 What's some new stuff? What other new what other new joints you be listening to, sis? What you been on? Um that new West Side Gun. It just came out, didn't it? Yeah, amazing. You didn't hear that yet? Mm-mm. I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, like I said, I haven't listened that was to a good lot too. of stuff this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the, really good. I think the last album, yeah, the last album I listened to before uh, this last Magic 3 album from Nas was Killer Mike's album. Mm. Killer Mike's album. And I think it's dope. The production on it is dope. <coughs> Hard. The features was cool. Like, it's a solid project. Mm-hmm. I fool with it. Oh. I didn't even know he had a project that. Mm-hmm. Me neither. I, I, I mess with Killer Mike. Yeah, he go hard on it. Mm-hmm. 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 He go, yeah, he's tough on this album. I'm trying to see who else I've been rocking with. I mean, that's it, because I've been doing, like you, I've, I've been doing beats and shit like that, like beat channels. Mm-hmm. Most of the times I throw YouTube on and just do beat channels. Yeah. That and audio books. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I've been on. Uh, you better than me, I ain't. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yo, a beat channel I've been rocking with lately, um, well, it's not really like just playing beats, but dude making beats. Mm -hmm. um, a dude, um, oh my God, I forgot his name. But uh, it, he, it's, it's, I think the channel's called like John Makes Beats. He was on Rhythm Roulette like, oh, a yeah, couple yeah, years yeah. ago. Know you know what I'm talking about, about right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, and uh, I just like I just like his process. You know what I mean with the synths and stuff like that. He like he he'll just play a bunch of stuff, then sample what he played, chop it up, then make a beat out of it. I think that I, I, just, I like that process. I, I've actually like stolen that from him. Quite a bit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, hey man, it's it, that. you put it out there. Hey, you giving him you giving him his praise and his props though. I mean, you get inspired by people. Nah, nah, yeah, you, you implement some of that. Mm -hmm. That's what you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. Or he's fire so, too. He made some yeah. bangers for some people before. Mm -hmm. I can't remember exactly who, but he got some big hits out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know, the crazy thing is, like, I was watching his channel, and, like, somebody had to tell me, he's like, yo, you remember he was on Rhythm of Let? And I was like, huh? Mm -hmm. And they gave me the video. I was like, oh, stop, that's right. You know what I mean? But, like, you know, Rhythm of Let, that come out so far and few in between mm -hmm. that, you know, you kind of be forgetting. Because, like, even the video he was on Rhythm of Let, it was a couple years back. You know what I mean? So, like... <clears throat> But, the, but that that dude is dope to me. Man. Yeah, he is. There's been a few of them on that Mass Appeal channel that's been some dope. Uh, yeah, nah, it's a some, fact. Yeah, there's been some dope content on there. But yeah, there's some, yeah. I, can, I wish I could think of some of the people off the top of my head as far as what we were just talking about, too, that's been beat makers. Uh, there's some young cats coming up now that I've never heard of that I've been kind of discovering that's real super dope, too. But I'll try to remember that the next time I'm on. Mm. You know, you know who I, uh, I mess with on on YouTube as well, and uh, I don't. Yeah, I, I think he's he's like in our age range. Uh, conductor, uh, he just do he does the beats um, for uh, Griselda. He does some similar stuff for Griselda. He he also just did uh, a joint with Drake. Uh, yeah, um, I think I know. I, I, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. right? Because yeah, because he, he be he be on a, he be on um like the NPC. The SP five five five, I think. Um, he he just used a lot of different little samplers and stuff mm. like that. And, um, and like and um, it's is like I, I watched a couple of his videos, not not a whole bunch, but I just like the fact that he does like, you know, what I'm saying he puts he puts like actual music out and then turns around and then like he does like he still does YouTube videos. And stuff yeah, like that. I think that's fine. You know, that's yeah, dope. that's dope. So, but. did anybody listen to that Drake? <laughs> no, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you, somebody sent me that. Somebody sent me the video that uh, with Drake had with um, with the beat that uh, the dude conducted there, right? And so I heard the I heard the beat and I thought the beat was fire. <clears throat> but I don't. I'm not a fan. I'm not a big fan of Drake's music. I never have been. Like, um, I liked like you the best back in the day because mm -hmm. it was like you know it was like catchy and stuff like that. But like you know, as time went on, I, I had gotten my my share of his music. You know, he, he got a sound. You know. He does his thing. It's, 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 it is what it is. But um, I saw the video and dude had the um, the uh, the barrettes. I don't the know barrettes. what was in his hair. It's like a rainbow. <laughs> I see the picture hair. of it, but I didn't know what that was from. I was just like, okay. You know. I was like, yo, I'm like, I, I, it, I, I was just like, yeah, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused as all hell. Like, cause like the visuals just took everything away from the song. I gave it the quick sniff test. <laughs> I gave it a quick, quick, quick run through, you know, because I, I gave it, a, you know, I gave it a benefit of the doubt. I was like, yeah, you know, I'll check it out. Why not? You know what I'm saying? I mean, all the hype that was surrounded, but, but you surrounded and all this other stuff. And long story short, it just it wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm more of a fan of like the early Drake, like early Drake. I fooled with early Drake. Mm. But yeah, mm. the, 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 yeah, but the I don't know, just the content, the subject matter, what he talks about a lot now it's just not really my vibe but was joe budden right in what he said what joe budden said you ain't see what he's you ain't basically see that little that viral yeah joe budden was like that um basically like like yo like drake you like of a certain age why you still rapping like you rapping like you 15 years younger than what you are mm. you know what i mean it's like it's like your content needs to mature so mm. you can see audience can mature with you or whatever. Okay. And then, uh, then, then uh, Drake was basically <laughs> saying that uh, Joe Budden is, is just a failed rapper and whatnot. And and, it, it, and he was like, I so he, he took it personal. I got, got, got money. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he sure yeah, did. Yeah, he's like, 
it, it, he's like, I made more money than you. I got more money than you. You know, you signed your deal for six million. I make this many million. It was like, it, 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 why? Like, why? Why, like, why I gotta? Why I gotta be that every time? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people's but, opinions is people's opinions, bro. Like, oh. And the crazy thing is, like, by him saying that, it, is this in my opinion? You just proved everything he said right. You're not maturing. <laughs> like, I got more money than you. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. And motherfucker, somebody got more money than you yeah, too. Yeah, take the basic stabs <laughs> at each other. Or, well, on, on yeah, his end, anyway. But yeah, I mean, like I said, I gave it a quick listen, and it just wasn't my. It wasn't my vibe. It's not my content. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. just not for me. You know. It does Can seem do like that? it appeals more to a younger demographic. Maybe because I'm just a, becoming the old head. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But. We- Drake always did that though, like mm-hmm. you know what I mean. He um, like people always said, people always said, oh well, Drake, you know, he he messes with the newer artists and he'll bring them on. Like they don't even realize, like that's 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 marketing one hundred and one. Mm-hmm. Like like he's cross branded. He he see you you a new artist, you got a following, you got a bunch of young fans that might or might not mess with him, right? So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a song with you, right? I'm gonna quote unquote make you hot. You gonna be hot. It, but really, all he done is he's, he's he's really like he's 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 riding your your coattails, he's riding your wave or whatever, and you're riding his wave. It's beneficial for both parties. Right. But then the crazy thing is, after it's said and done, the new artist usually ends up being a one or two hit wonder, and Drake keeps on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's, it's it's wild. Mm-hmm. So That's facts. Who knows? Yeah, but, but yeah, I'm just saying it just wasn't for me. I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna dookie all over it or nothing like that i'm just saying it's just not for me <laughs> you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so but uh mm-hmm. i did catch that uh that uh little yachty j cole little mashup that they did that j cole verse was crazy mm-hmm. j cole i don't know if you guys heard that but his, his verse is always great i ain't i ain't i ain't hear it but like i like I saw Joe Budden said something the other day. Joe Budden was like, "Yo, J Cole, stay away from our gang, uh, 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 um, our gangster rappers, because like, <laughs> everybody always like basically everybody that get into a song with him, they try to match him, but but they can't or something like yeah. that. I forgot what he what it was he said. Okay, yeah, I can kind of. <laughs> that's funny, man. And shout out to Joe Budden, man. Shit, I was I'm a big fan of Joe Budden's music. I don't know why people be dissing his music so much, man. I liked a lot of Joe his Budden's music. Joe Budden's fire. He, he was a lyricist, for mm-hmm. real, for I real. I like a lot of his music. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. That Off to the Races is one of my favorite songs ever in the world. Off to the Races. I got a, I got a homeboy that that, that loves, he, he swears by Joe Budden. <laughs> he was at one of his shows at B.B. King's, and um, and uh, I guess, that, I don't know if Joe Budden is still with this, with this, with this young lady, but but she was rapping, she was rapping his verses word for word, and my boy was right there next to her rapping word for word. And she looked over at him, and they looked over at each other, and they just started rapping together. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I think that's pretty dope. Yeah, I wouldn't say he was a failed rapper at all. I mean, look at what he transitioned into, becoming one of the number one podcasts in the world, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, man, listen. I, I mean, like, it, it, it. People just, people just be saying stuff to hear themselves speak, because you know, because. Because if that's the case, if you're talking about like a, uh, if, if you're talking about like, because it, it, his career didn't go as people thought it should, you know, so would you say that that the Fresh Prince is a successful rapper? And it's not to diss Will Smith or nothing like that, but like we all know like Will Smith was cool, but he wasn't like, it wasn't like, yo, heard that new Will, you, you heard that getting jiggy with it? Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, I think Will Smith is nice though. He nice with what, how no. he, did, you know, because he got some joints. He he got he, joints, he, but Wilson I know, but a, I know what you're saying. You know, what I'm saying? I know he's like, he has he has his lane. You know what I mean? And, and he never stepped out of his lane. He was never like, and you I gotta respect that. This whole you know pop thing ain't working. Yeah. I'm a, I'm 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 gonna be the I'm gonna be the Fresh Prince. I'm gonna go back and be the Fresh Prince again. But this time I'm gonna be the Fresh Prince with with uh with, with a little gangster flair. Like he never, you know, he just never like, nah, I'm gonna switch it up. He just stayed who he was. You know right. what I mean? So like, I, I don't know. I, I I don't see see him as being like, I don't see uh, uh Joe Budden as being a failed rapper. I don't either. To me, like like you said, for him to be able to pivot that career 
into something else. Like just to me, just it, it, it was it was dope. Yo, uh, Miss Lee, I got that photo for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you gotta see this. Okay. You're gonna love this. I don't forgot what you said you was gonna send me. Oh, Drake. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, 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 the barrette. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm about to, I'm about to text it to you. Well, you know, there he goes tapping into other markets again. He's just trying to tap into the gay market because he knows good money. <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Let me Is see. that what he's doing? That's what he's doing. The views that expressed what? here are the views <laughs> currently <laughs> of misled. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us don't. We ain't talking about that shit. <laughs> oh lord. You see him? Yeah, he's a fool. Yo, he, he looks like a. He, I don't know what he's doing, man. People say he's trying to stay a little yachty swag. Yeah, cause I he was mm -hmm. like the first person I seen with them fucking barrettes. Yeah. Well, see, I'm that's sick. when that whole community they should stand up now and be like, no, we don't want you. Don't come now trying to rep <laughs> us because you want our money. Like you, you, mm -hmm. you didn't rep us this Yo. whole time. Yo, I seen something. On, I seen something the other day. It said like that. That whole community. It's like. The, the spending power is like one point nine trillion dollars. That's what we, what we uh. We we what supposed we to be talking about Serato. Safe don't oh, even know God. how Serato, good right. Serato got in the last few months. Mm -hmm. Safe, mm -hmm. put him Bro. on. All right, so Serato, like you know, before it just allowed you to chop, and it, it time stretched for you, then you could pitch, you could change the pitch, and and it'd be like pretty much like. You know, uh, uh, seamless without any type of like uh, audio artifacts when it's going up and down the pitch and 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 and, uh, and um, matching the tempo. Yo, now you can um, now you can tracks you can um, stem stuff out in Serato. So you could you could turn like like you could turn um, a sample to have vocals, uh, guitars, drums, and and the rest of the accompaniment. You could turn the vocals mm. off, or you could solo the vocals. You could turn the drums off, or solo the drums. And like, man, oh, that's listen. Dope. Yeah. And then, oh my goodness, bro. And and like, cause you could do it in, you could do it in like Koala, and you know they got the the AI sites that do it. But like all those sites that do it, and even Koala, you when it pulls them apart, you can hear like little artifacts and stuff mm. like that. And it sound sometimes it sounds a little bad. You know what I mean? Yo, I, I kid you not. <clears throat> Serato sounds amazing, like it it, it. it sounds amazing. It's it's so clean and it's so clear. Like when it when it um when you when you do it, like it, it takes a little while. Like the first time you 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 turn it on on your computer, the computers you you hit the button to like solo something or take something out. It, it's gonna stop the audio for a minute because it's gonna analyze it. Process it. Once it analyzes it, ooh, it's so my good. Goodness. It, mm. uh, it's dope. That sounds I'm dope. pulling up files right now because I'm a, I'm gonna play them for you. There's it's so good. Mm. It sounds I'm, better mm. than anything that yeah, I've look, used. I'm looking at it on the Mac right now. Yeah, it's it's yo, know, it's, it's 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 dope. It's real dope. Just that alone is a game changer I, I, with Serato. That that alone to be able to just oh no, that, that's yeah, a fact. Just to do that, like dang. Man, mm hmm. Cause you know, cause you know how Serato, cause Serato automatically once the sample is, is in there, it's already analyzing the tempo, and it's saying like, oh, your your song tempo was this, mm -hmm. the sample tempo was this, the the sample is in this key, it's giving you all that information. Like you don't it, you don't have to wait for that. Not as soon as the sample's okay. in there, boom, it's giving you okay. that. And now you can, now like, cause what I be doing, I I take that same that same uh, sample. And I'll just open it four times, and then one time I might have, you know, one one stem, next stem, next stem, next stem, and so now I'm just muting stuff, and, and it, it's, it's it's fire. And then, like uh, I sent this video to Miss Led uh, yesterday, because um, I I, um, I made a video basically talking about how you can um you can take like I took I took a vocal sample right. And you can take that same, you can take the sample with that, whatever sample you take. And then instead of just playing chops, you can have that sample stretched across your keyboard. But because Serato is time stretching crazy, you don't have to worry about a chipmunking. It's just playing the notes wherever you play. That's crazy. Man, yeah. listen, I turned, I turned like this, this, uh, I think it's Michael Henderson's song. Um, he, he just sings, oh, girl. So I took the O, <laughs> took that note. I done made a synth out of this joint, <laughs> then like you know, 
It's it's, yo, it's 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 dope, and I I don't hear, I don't really don't see too many people talking about that one feature of Serato, mm-hmm. like the fact that you can like keyboard it out. Like yeah. these niggas, a squad, we sample everything. What's in your iPad podcast? Was good. Support she's a producer. So uh, this week we were talking about Serato synth. Uh, excuse me, Serato sampler. I got a uh, as you can see on the screen. I have a um, project in region that I call reason that I call Serato synth. And the reason why I call it Serato synth, I'm going to show you right now. So we all know Serato is like, it's a real dope plugin, especially when it comes to doing stuff like um, chopping samples and whatnot, right? But I think one thing that people, uh, I rarely hear people talking about is the fact that you can actually take the sample and you can sp- uh, like spread it across the keys. And I think a lot of people kind of just assume, well, you know, it's a sample, of course it can do that. But the way Serato does it is kind of dope because uh, Serato will actually take that sample and then it will it will spread it across the keys, but instead of just spreading it like and chipmunking it, it's actually time stretching it. So no matter where you're playing that sample at, it's still gonna be at the same same tempo that you that you have your sample set to so for example uh let's take a look here i'm going to turn the keys mode off i'm just going to play the sample that i have here so that's all i wanted all i wanted was that that part where uh where he's singing oh so i hit the keys and i have it everything else is is uh muted the drums the piano the rest of the accompaniment is all muted because all i wanted was the vocals isolated right so if you take a look at or you take a listen i should say to what i did here let me solo this part so i soloed it and i and i mean i, I took that and i created this On its own is not exactly the greatest thing, um, but what I also did was I took the took that vocal and I created uh, so that one in that particular instance of Serato I have it so that the synth so it's playing polyphonically, but um, <clears throat> I have another instance of Serato in which I'm using it, but instead of playing it polyphonically, I'm playing it monophonically i believe this is the one uh it says poly on here but whatever anyway let's check it out so basically what i used what i did here was i um used that same sample to create a bass and you'll hear it here so i'll put those two together you'll hear it On their own, they sound pretty bad. Let me mute those, the MIDI for it. Uh, I like to actually, whatever I do in Serato, because it, it's a little, um, like with the stems and everything like that, could be a little heavy on a computer. I like to actually just bounce that out straight to audio. So if I'm gonna play just a hook from this track that I created, uh, so you can hear it, hear everything all together. Uh, so it came out like this. So if I just take the sample alone, so you can hear that by itself with all the effects. And the rest is just me just kind of, you know, adding more parts in. But I just kind of wanted to just show that capability that Serato has. Like I said, I know everybody loves it for chopping, but you can really, really get creative with it um, and turn a lot of sounds into whole different things. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm going to let the track rock so you can hear it a little bit. Um, and then I'll catch you next week on the podcast. Peace. <laughs>
She got the heat, man, 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 man. I took, I made a, I made a, uh, like a quiet sound with his vocals and I took it and, and made it into a bass line as well. And like, I was sitting, I was in my, I was at my job, my job yesterday late, just jamming like, yo, this is fire right here. You know what I mean? Like, that so, sounds dope, man. Serato's, hey, Serato's, Serato's That sounds fun too, man. That sounds like a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you how mm -hmm. good, I'm gonna show you yeah. how clear it is too, right now. Watch. Now you see that's the file right there. I'm gonna turn this up on the mixer. This is everything I together. Why, just let using the computer. I know. Stop. I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> that shit is beast. That shit sounds so clear. Mm -hmm. I'm over here mm -hmm. trying to. That's crazy, man. That whew, that opens up a whole nother universe. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I'm just sitting here mm -hmm. thinking, like, man. You think of it like, like me, like when I first when they because when they put it on, they put it on Serato DJ. Everybody was complaining. Oh, it's not on the plugin yet. And I was like, yo, you know they're gonna bring it. Just mm -hmm. wait. They're trying to make sure that when they bring it to the plugin, that it works right. So then you don't get it and be like, "Ah, oh, this shit is crap." You know what I mean? Um, but like, it just from like a like me, I think of it like from a DJ perspective. It's like, yo, I always wanted to put the bass line from this song, yeah, with the, with the chords from this song, with the drums from that song, from and then the, I bring the vocals yeah, from that. Right. Right. Now I'm just sitting back <laughs> thinking, like, fun? man, how much yeah the fun you could have with doing all mm -hmm. that, man. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the cool, dope thing about it is you can change the key, mm -hmm. and, and you can change the key and the tempo. And oh man, like you like you could so much that's shit crazy. you could do with that, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because like, like, I know me, I've, I've been walking down the street, and uh, I was thinking about it just just as I was walking out come, coming home now because the dudes is out out in the street playing the Spanish music. You know the Puerto Rican, the Puerto Rican dudes. I was like, oh no, I gotta get some of that salsa, <laughs> some of that reggae, <laughs> them horns, that. Bam, bam, bam. It's yeah. on. I'm telling you, I've been wanting to sample that shit since I was a little kid. Every time I sample, it's like it was so much going on in here that that you know even the filter is not really going like do everything you needed to do. But now, forget about it, man. Listen, them horns is about to be on everything. <laughs> that Serato is fucking amazing, but. Mm -hmm. Last night we see Rob Victim made a post saying that the FL Studio blows that shit away, and his post was pretty clear, right, Cheese? Yeah, I can't even lie. I can't even lie. He 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 had, he he had took a, a Bob James song and stemmed it out. And the dope, dope thing about the FL joints, it, it gives you the actual files. Like it gives you the four joints. You oh don't yeah, have it to, tracks like, it out instead of yeah. Facts. Yeah, yeah. It's like it, it pops the joints out. I mean, you could do that with Serato. You, you would just, Depends on you would just have to like physically just yeah. record it or whatever. You know what I mean? But I will say this: it was it was very very clear, and um, 
and I went back and I listened to Serato and I was like, okay, maybe I do hear a little bit of artifacts. But honestly, I only noticed that after I heard the FL. Mm. And but Serato to me is still it's it's the clearest like 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 Miss Les says it's, it's like the cleanest joint that I've used. Um, and I, nothing against FL, but I don't need another. Yeah, like, I, 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 I got. I, I, I feel you. I, I, I'm good. Serato, cut right. the check, yo. I, cut I, the check. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, cheese. What do you use your Serato in? In your um. I use reason? it in reason. Mm-hmm. See, mm-hmm. but when you want the the whole DAW, it cost. I forgot what it cost, but I went and grabbed that just to have it, and I didn't like. Oh, you got. Yeah. You got the um the Serato yeah. dog. I bought, I, I got that. I don't have nothing against it, but I just didn't have time. Like you just said about FL Studio, mm-hmm. I didn't have time to get into a whole. So I just went to something familiar and loaded that shit up in my garage band real quick. Because, you know, I hate the computer. Got you. So I'm literally yeah. just taking these joints, doing what I want with them, taking what I want and putting it in the MPC or the SP anyway. So mm-hmm. I'm not sitting there mm-hmm. making a beat in that in garage band. I'm just getting that yeah. sample ready. That's yeah. exactly what you mm-hmm. could you could say i literally use that just to get my sample ready yo you gotta i gotta i'm, I'm gonna send you the info on how you could um remember i showed you how um i was sending midi and audio through the lightning cable to my um to the computer mm-hmm. from the um to the ipad you could do that with your phone too like any ios mm-hmm. device like you could uh you create um an aggregate device mm-hmm. and and your, um on your mac and as soon as you plug it up like it's just it like connected you just got to enable it and it like literally any audio that comes out of your phone you just basically it just plugs right in um you can even like use your iphone as a microphone but there's a delay with that that's the only thing mm. so what, every, every so, like, time yesterday i was my bad i was gonna say every time mm, i open my computer it prompts me to do that and i hate it Yo, listen that aggregate device that joint, that that's 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 a big big move. Yeah. Cause like you know, um, you we you, you know we sample off of like uh everything, hence <laughs> the fact. name. But like uh, <laughs> but like um, you, you you know any any audio that's coming out your phone, boom is going straight into your door. So okay. like, you know how like you gotta do like I don't know like if you in your computer and you trying to sample from like. Uh, Apple Music or, or whatever other streaming device you got to do like you got to get that third um, party app shit. Like, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Now it's just like yo, I you just saying, I'm home. like yesterday I made yeah, I made a beat and I sampled I wanted um waves crashing in the beat. So I literally typed that in on YouTube. My joint was already plugged in. Gotcha. Boom, press play, record. Waves crashing is in the beat. Gotcha. And we done. But <laughs> I, my know? joint is hooked up through the task and Bluetooth my mm. ipad and my phone so anytime mm-hmm. i turn this computer on it's everything is hooked to that task cam anyway so i don't mm-hmm. I, you know i yeah, just no. go around all that shit through there oh so you yeah. good you good then see me I, I i'm usually i'm either at work or at my girl house or maybe i might get to go home and stuff like that and mess and, and mess around over there but since you know i always got to have a work right, right so when i found that out like because you see what happened was i had a um audio interface and every time i would open it um, and reason it would say no, no inputs, no outputs. And I'm like, what the fuck? My interface is, is connected. So I looked it up and it said, this is how you fix it. Mm. And so I was like, oh snap. And then I noticed that in the, um, you know, the audio MIDI setup, my, uh, cause I had my, um, my, my iPad connected to, to the computer to charge it. I noticed that it said the iPad was in, it said enable. Once I hit enable, and it tells me that the iPad has uh, two inputs and you just like basically the iPad is an input and you could either use the speakers or the headphones or whatever is your um, your, your interface as the output. Okay. So that means that the, the so that means whatever audio is going on in the iPad or the, or the iPhone is going into the computer and it's coming out of whatever output you choose it to be. So like I done made like four different devices mm. like one is the ipad to the speakers one is the ipad to the headphones phone to the speakers phone to the headphones so it's so it, it, it's basically it's gotcha, on gotcha. at this point and and you know what i mean it, it's, it's it's really on like i like i've been searching for like the quote-unquote perfect setup <laughs> for the longest got it and i, I I'm, I'm no not, not yet no not yet <laughs> I, i'm there i'm getting there i'm getting it though getting there i'm getting there it, it, 
It might, it might, it might have to throw the 404 in there mm. too because of the, uh, you know, because of the, because of the, because uh, I could do audio and MIDI through the, um, yeah. the USB on that. And then once I get that, and it, it's gonna be a little complicated. I might have to, like I told you, I might have to make make me a little suitcase. <laughs> Pop that bitch open, everything in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, here come cheese with his suitcase. Don't let me, you're going to need a duffel bag. Say the off-road wheels on it and everything. You ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> Just wheel that bitch around with you. Whip, whip. You know? Hey. <laughs> oh, here come cheese with his music case. <laughs> hey, cheese. We like the music. That was crazy. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you should make some shit, though. That'd be dope. <laughs> If, if, if uh, I'm telling you, like I got, a, I got a um, I got a case at home. It's like a um, it's like one of those uh, one of one of them, uh, the joints look like a suitcase, but it's like red and and silver or whatever. So one, I'm 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 really considering like getting like the little Velcro, like to make you know how they got the video game mm -hmm. boxes. So I'm considering doing that, but instead of having a PlayStation in it, I have like a sampler in there, and <laughs> then like. And then I'll just have my little MIDI controller to the side or whatever, and and just have everything connected, so I don't have to move nothing or, or change nothing. It's my whole system is set up, you know what I mean? And and then like six months later, I'll be breaking it down because like <laughs> I I I think that something else More. is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, scratch this from the recording so nobody steal that idea from from my man's right here, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't worried about that shit. <laughs> Word. But yeah, I don't know. That Serato, I'm happy with it. Yeah, that's Plus, how much it looks dope. Yo. Yeah, we need Sounds to see dope. the the price difference too. How much is the new FL Studio going for right now? I know you could get crack versions, but. But I, well, I don't FL know. Studio. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna look it up right now. Mm -hmm. See, FL. I think I know when I caught Serato, I caught it on a half off sale. So. FL Wait, Serato price. sample is free or no? Jeez. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Why I thought it was free? If, if you might get, I think because I um, bought the shit. Definitely got it. They definitely got a demo. I probably got it because I bought yeah, the whole FL thing. FL Studio, the full version is two hundred. Oh, okay. it got cheaper. Oh man. Yeah, that's real cheap. Uh, I'm, well, wait, wait, hold on. My bad, my bad. All right, so they got FL Studio image line with all plugins. Six four ninety nine. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, then you got uh, FL21 Producer Edition with Waves plugins is one ninety nine on Amazon. Mm. I mean, it's not bad. 200, 200 bucks for for a door is not bad. <coughs> um, and considering that, like all the stuff that, that FL is like, it's a full out like, you know, you you can do everything mm. in it. Like, it's that's that's dope. I had yo, I had it back when it was called. Bro, me too. <laughs> Did. You know yeah, what I mean? I, that I couldn't get a sound out that <laughs> motherfucker, so I just said, "All right, you know what?" It was what? a very like, confusing this ain't program. For me. <laughs> I ain't, yo, I couldn't. I, I got, I got, I got one sound out of it, and I was like, "Yes!" And I couldn't remember what I did. I remember I was sitting in my boy house for for like hours, and I installed it on his computer, and I, I just left. <laughs> yeah. I had a home like, boy had to show me how to come it back. I was like, "Nah!" Had to, had to kind of walk me through how to use it too, and I just couldn't really. Man, I just couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I, and, and and I mean, hey, whatever. I, yeah. It is what it is. It, it, I felt just it wasn't meant for me. You know what I mean? Like you know. I wonder. I'm so. gonna look up the app and see if they did any updates to the actual FL. It's not even the same people, is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I don't know why I feel um, like I remember it was a whole different. Like it wasn't even the fucking same people. Like like somebody else well, came through and fired them. Because it looks it look. Uh, it looks completely yeah, different. Yeah, it's totally different. Now it's the same people. Image line, so yeah. If it says image line, that's them. Mm-hmm. The I'm looking at the updates now. Uh, the last update was a month ago. They fixed loop points in the synth bass EXP presets for the DW sampler. Uh, they fixed the bug. I tell you what, it's not in there. It's not that um. Yeah, it's not the stem separation. They got stereo separation and multiband mode, multiband compressor. Um, yeah, no. 